Yeah, assalamu alaikum. Today I'm going to uh, teach topic about the emission control system for subject automotive technology 2. So what we have here for introduction car and pollution we know the source of emission is from from the engine so the power to move a car comes from the burning fuel in the engine pollution from car come from uh, by product of this combustion process and uh, from the evaporation of the fuel itself so in this chapter we are going to learn uh, the complete uh, cycle of uh, combustion which is uh, more uh, safer less emission than the incomplete combustion so and then uh, the control system that we that we have uh, in our cars to reduce the amount of the uh, emission uh, we see the the overview of the perfect combustion there is five elements First, we have the hydrocarbon, which is uh, what we call uh, unburned gases. That means uh, the fuel, not the hundred percent uh, burn in the combustion chamber. Then uh, the hydrocarbon or fuel, okay, uh, they are uh, mixed out with the exhaust, uh, exhaust gas, and go through to the exhaust manifold. And then the second one is air, which is uh, oxygen and nitrogen, and then carbon. Uh, dioxide CO2 and then what water H2O and then what we call uh, unaffected uh, nitrogen which is uh, N2 as we know in, in our air there is also contain uh, nitrogen and oxygen and hydrocarbon uh, dioxide but uh, this kind of gases is unharm to our health what we see here okay, there is five elements of the exhaust emission and then uh, first of all we have uh, hydrocarbon uh, nitrogen oxide which is uh, nitrogen which is unstable uh, bonding okay and then carbon monoxide also give uh, harm to our health uh, sulfur oxide and then uh, particulate metals particulate metal what we call uh, this is they are contain uh, another element eh? Uh, except these four gases lah, include salt, uh, 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 black black particle. Okay, we see how the hydrocarbon uh, effect to our health. The uh, deformation of which can lead to the to risk of damage to the human uh, respiratory system. Point number two: through the beneficial in an upper atmosphere at the ground level, this gas in irritated the respiratory system causing causing coaching talking and reduce lung capacity whenever we inhale the the the, the air into our our lung if the the amount of hydrocarbon uh, contained in our air so if we give uh, harm to our uh, health point number three in addition some kind of Hydrocarbon are also indirect greenhouse gases that can cause uh, liver damage or cancer, uh, which is uh, this is the side effect to the greenhouse gases. If the amount of the hydrocarbon increase in our uh, atmosphere, so we inhale uh, an unhealth uh, uh, environment, okay, can cause uh, liver damage and cancer. Okay, uh, gas number two. Uh, which is nitrogen oxide nitrogen oxide is a uh, unstable uh, bonding so it can cause a uh, pollution to lung uh, lung irritation weaken the body defense is reduce our antibody and increase the potential of the affected by germ or influenza and then point number two can cause a uh, shortest shortness of breath and chest pain and increase a person uh, Suspectable to asthma. For example, if the person, if uh, if person exposed to this uh, uh, high volume of uh, nitrogen oxide, which is the 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 air, or the atmosphere is contaminated with with nitrogen oxide. So when when uh, he inhale 
this kind of uh, air so it will cause the it will cause a shortness of breath so the effect to our head so for the for a person who have uh, asthma uh, or other uh, respiratory uh, problem uh, it will it will create the high risk to the to their health and then what we see we can see a carbon uh, monoxide carbon monoxide is a product of incomplete combustion and occur when carbon in the fuel is partially oxidized uh, this carbon monoxide is uh, supposed to become uh, carbon dioxide which is unharm to our health but carbon monoxide is uh, increase the danger to uh, to human health point number two carbon monoxide reduce the flow of the oxygen in the bloodstream and particularly dangerous to a person with a heart disease for example if the, if a person exposed to the carbon monoxide they actually uh, reduce the capability of the lung to absorb oxygen in the atmosphere okay this is very uh, dangerous this is how we are going to uh, reduce this amount of the gases and then uh, gas number four is sulfur dioxide the sulfur dioxide a uh, high concentration of uh, sulfur dioxide include uh, respiratory illness uh, interaction of lung defense aggress aggr aggravation of existing uh, cardiovascular disease then point number two uh, short-term expose of uh, asthmatic indi individual will be moderate the exemption may reduce lung function that may be accomplished by the cess such a symptom of wheezing wheezing uh, chest tightness and shortness of breath so what we what we see here uh, element in the uh, exhaust emission all the all the gases give uh, the same this uh, harm to the our respiratory uh, system you should avoid this or uh, all type of gases and then uh, element number five is a particulate matter particulate matter consists of mic microscoping uh, 10 micro pm which means uh, part per million 10 which is uh, which is uh, we measure uh, the size of particle is very very small which is uh, i show the number figure figure 0 0.00039 inch right? smaller than solid particle you can uh, you can see you can make your own experiment by uh, find uh, a white t-shirt and then you uh, cover your exhaust exhaust pipe then you uh, press a pedal press a pedal uh, repeatedly uh, until five, for example five minutes then you can take out your white t-shirt and you can see uh, the black particle uh, spotted on the white t-shirt that's the particulate matter and then point number two particulate uh, such as lead uh, carbon tend to collect uh, to collect in a small fear large amount of this uh, substance can penetrate deep to our lung and causing lung disease right? uh, all the five elements in the uh, emission uh, uh, exhaust emission are uh, close to our uh, human health thanks we assignment 3.1 uh, i need you to sketch and upload to uh, google classroom you need to sketch a structure formula for any element in the exhaust emission for example what we have hydrocarbon uh, hydrocarbon what is the structure form of hydrocarbon uh, you can simply google it uh, and then we you have uh, a carbon monoxide and then nitro oxide just drawing a simple uh, structure formula okay then upload to google classroom okay what well, you see uh, next up topic is fuel uh, evaporation source there there are two element uh, emission here uh, sources from our engine one uh, from the gas emission two evaporating process eh? caused by a sunny day which is a gasoline uh, evaporate uh, evaporation gasoline evaporation increase as a temperature increase during uh, the hot day which is a uh, gasoline uh, in the fuel tank uh, gasoline in the fuel tank they are evaporate when when the hot weather and mix out with the atmosphere oxygen number two source of evaporation is running loose the hot engine as a system can evaporate gasoline hot engine we, when we are uh, driving for one hours or two hours the temperature is high the temperature is increased so the the oil uh, the fuel in the um, uh, fuel uh, pipeline so uh, they can uh, the temperature there is 
increase so the gas is vaporized and then loss of pollution eh, to our environment also the engine remain hot for a period of time after the car is turning off when whenever we turn off the engine the the temperature is not cooling down immediately eh, they take time but they stay hot so the the temperature is high and cause also uh, evaporating process for our gasoline refueling eh? refueling when whenever we are refueling uh, gas in the pump station uh, gasoline vapor is uh, evaporized eh, due to the uh, uh, exposed to the atmosphere temperature eh? they are always present in few tank and the vapor are forced out when the tank is filled with the liquid liquid fuel so there is four uh, sources of uh, uh, evaporating evaporating in cost to the uh, pollution okay what we have here the system we have uh, this is what we call a blow by a uh, blow by is the gas that enter an engine crankcase uh, during a normal combustion event or compression stroke it is composed of uh, ambient fuel air and combustion byproduct okay i'm um, a uh, blow by blow by which is uh, you can see for the next slide where point number two a uh, blow by happen because of the seal around the cylinder uh, which is a cylinder ring is not perfect eh? there is gap uh, between a cylinder ring the, uh, or uh, the piston and cylinder wall uh, there is gap uh, there's a, a large large uh, clearance between uh, between uh, piston and cylinder wall uh, the air fuel mixture uh, on the top of the piston can easily uh, bypass the seal and they are uh, flow through to the uh, crankcase area it is composed of the close, uh, closely uh, matches metal part of the piston ring and cylinder ball. Okay, here you can see the blow by how how they go through into the crankcase area. Uh, first, they uh, slightly go through uh, from cylinder wall straight into the crankcase area. Uh, second, they are through the uh, piston ring. The, the the piston ring is getting thick due to the uh, frictions and corrosion and then uh the way number three they are go through into the gap of the ring uh, due to the uh, of course the friction so they reduce because of the long uh, the long uh, operation so the piston, piston ring is getting thick and also they can uh, increase uh, the the gap because the blow by easily to uh, bypass uh, the seal and go in, go into the crankcase area. Okay, the blow by rate varies according to the engine speed. Uh, whenever uh, the engine speed is speed up, so the pressure and temperature uh, inside the combustion chamber is increased. Uh, it, it will force the air fuel mixture bypass or, or blow by into the crankcase area. The amount of the the amount of the blow by uh, can be determined from the volume of the air uh, being breathed. By, by the engine next uh, quick assignment 3.2 which is I want uh, you uh, this is individually uh, assessment uh, all you need to do is a short video and explain why the blow why the blow by happen during the compression stroke why not the intake stroke not the exhaust stroke only during the compression stroke why why this is happen how the the blow by gas enter the crankcase area the answer is there the answer is from at the previous slide all you need to do is read again understand and make a video right? and then upload to the upload to the google classroom and don't forget title ua 3.2 full name and your registration number for attendance you need to complete all the assessment we uh, i prepare three assessment uh, for this topic then you need to complete uh, upload for your attendance okay that's all for part one uh, chapter three part one uh, is just emission system and then uh, continues to the part two for the next video that's all thank you